Hello all you video students, this is Mr. Guardado and I'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial on how to write a script in Celtex uh, using the multi-AV, or as I call it, dual column script format. Okay, so first off, I'm going to assume that you've already created your Celtex account, so make sure you've done that. If you're having issues creating a Celtex account, you'll have to contact me so I can walk you through that. Okay, when you log in, this is going to be the first thing you see. Uh, you can see that I have one of my other projects in here, but I need to create a new project. So I'm going to click this button over here that says new project. Okay, so it's asking me what kind of template I want to use. We don't want to use the film and TV one, even though this is a broadcasting class or it might be for my uh, video productions class. We want to use multi-column AV. So all your scripts for uh, video productions first period or intro to broadcasting second and third period and even TV broadcasting uh, seventh period, you're going to be using this format right here, multi-column AV. So I'm going to click that. I'm going to name this project. This is the chase. And don't change uh, the episodes. You really can only do one because these are free accounts. So just leave that alone and then go ahead and click create project. Okay, so it's loading. It pops up over here. Um, we're just gonna ignore index cards and storyboards because we're not gonna use those. You wanna click on AV script. So that'll load up. And here we go. So you can see there's the name of the project. If you want to uh, type out your name here, Mr. Cordato, uh, you can. Um, you can also put the date, 09 dash, today is the 19th, or excuse me, it's actually the 20th, dash, 2020. Okay, more importantly, this here is the video column, this is the audio column, and then they have this third column over here for images if you want to drag images in here. You're not going to use this very often, so just ignore this third column over here. Uh, but these two you're going to use quite a bit. Okay, and this is why I call it dual column because technically um, the industry usually only has two columns, but Celtex decided to add this third. Okay, uh, but if we're going to transcribe the Chase handout that I gave you guys, and if you don't have the Chase handout, again, you'll have to email me so I can figure out why it is you can't see the, uh, the file to download. Um, so let's start with that first shot. If you look at the handout, it's literally a title card that says the Chase. So the first thing we want to do is we want to turn the cap locks uh, button on, okay? Um, so on your keyboard, on the left-hand side, there should be a caps lock button. Click that so that way anything you type is in uppercase. The first thing you want to do is tell me what type of shot uh, this shot is going to be. And this is actually going to be a title card, so we'll just write title card colon, okay? Now. Uh, we just literally write out what that title card is going to say, and it's going to say the chase. So we just write out the chase. Okay, um, that's it. That's the title we're going to see. So that's the visual side. Now we got to write out what we're going to hear for this shot of a title card that says the chase. So you'll notice it wants to automatically put it in character mode. You need to change that. So you go up here to character drop it down to dialogue mode, okay? And then we're just gonna simply write natural, let me turn off cap locks, natural sound, period. Now, what natural sound means in a dual column script is that you're just gonna use whatever audio is naturally recorded in the camera when you go to shoot this title card. Some of you guys might create a title card with a piece of paper and, um, and that's fine. So whatever sound gets used or recorded, that's what's gonna be in there, okay? So now we can move on to the second shot. You'll notice here it says number one because this is the first shot of the script. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit return. Notice it wants to put it into character mode again. But I'm gonna hit return a second time and voila, look, there's now a second box with video, audio, and then that image area, okay? So if we look on the handout I gave you for the chase, we'll see that the Frame two shot says a path in a city park, dot, 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 people riding bikes and picnicking. 
So let's write this out. So this is an establishing shot. They call it the XWS, but that's wrong. And if we were in person, I would have told you to cross out XWS and write in, let me cap lock it here, EST colon. That stands for establishing. Okay, so this is an establishing shot. An establishing shot uh, establishes the location of a scene. That's why it's called an establishing shot. So you're telling the viewer that this is going to be a really wide shot, otherwise known as an establishing shot. So I'm gonna write this. Uh, we see a path in a city park and people riding bikes and picnicking, period, okay? Uh, we see a runner jogging in the pathway. Now, if you notice on the handout, it doesn't say anything about the jogger, but if you look at the image, you can see that the jogger is in the middle of the frame. So I just added that sentence in just to be a little bit more descriptive. And I highly recommend that you be as descriptive as possible when you're describing what you're going to see in a shot. Also, don't write in fragmented sentences. This isn't a text message to your friends. Uh, write complete sentences. That's why I wrote out, we see a path in a city park and people riding bikes and picnicking, right? So use complete sentences. Uh, while natural sound is a fragmented sentence, because it's commonly understood in dual column scripts, it's okay to write that as a fragmented sentence because everyone who makes these types of scripts knows what that means. So natural sound is the only fragmented sentence that is okay to write when you're writing a script, okay? So now we're gonna write natural sound again. And again, you can see it's in character mode. So I need to switch it to dialogue and write out natural, oh, let me take off cap locks, natural sound, period, okay? So now let's assume I want music to start right here. If I want music to start right here, I need to start a new line and it, it creates a new line and it leaves a space. I don't want a character though. Again, I wanna go to dialogue and I wanna write out that creepy and suspenseful Music, uh, auto corrects for me. Music begins to play here, period. That's a complete sentence telling us that creepy music, creepy and suspenseful music is also going to begin in this shot that we're gonna hear natural sound for the establishing shot of the chase. All right, so that's shot number two. And basically this is it, you just keep going. If I hit return and then hit return a second time, there goes the third shot. And then if I look at the frame, it says it's a MS, which stands for medium shot. A jogger enters the shot, trots along the path straight towards the camera. So I can literally just write exactly what it says because it did a good job of describing what this shot is, is going to be. So I'm gonna hit cap locks. I'm gonna write MS colon. And then how about the jogger? enters the shot and trots along the path straight oh, need a space here straight toward the camera period okay don't forget your punctuation guys I didn't put punctuation on the title card because we don't need punctuation on a title screen, right? So that's why I left out the punctuation there. But everywhere else, punctuate, all right? Assume this is like an English paper. That's why I want you guys using complete sentences, okay? It makes more sense, it's easier to read. Assume that a stranger is going to read your screenplay. If you write like that, then most likely you're gonna get a good grade on your scripts, should I say, not screenplays. Okay, so for this, I'm also, again, going to switch this to dialogue mode. And one more time, I'm gonna write natural sound. Here. Okay, so that's it. That's it in a nutshell on how to write a script in dual column, or as Celtex call it, calls it, multi-column AV format. All right, 
hopefully this uh, tutorial video helps you out. And again, if you have any questions, you can always ask me either in class, during a Zoom session, tutorial session, or just email me and we'll figure it out together. All right, see you later.